Hi, okay, so if you're here, you're here because you've probably either clicked a link telling you you're going to see an electric eel eat a fish. If you're here for any other reason, you're here for the wrong reason. So either hang around if you want to see it happen, or if you're worried about the fish getting eaten live, here's fair warning to leave. Okay, so hi, my name is Nick, and I live in Japan. Last weekend I went down to the southern tip of Japan to a place called Kagoshima where we stopped by at an aquarium and we saw that it was feeding time for the electric eel and I thought well hey this is a fantastic opportunity to get some footage on my SLR unfortunately I only had my SLR because I gave my video camera to my brother the last time I was in the UK and I have not seen it since so we have this footage here for you to watch I'll give you a bit of an explanation of what's going on and then you can see the eel catch and eat its, I guess, lunch at that point of the day. So enjoy the video and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the electric eel, Electrophorus electricus. It's actually the only species in its genus, meaning it's the only Electrophorus that there is in the world that we know of. There may be more, but if there is, we do not know about them yet. So they grow up to about two meters long and while the numbers here tend to differ, anywhere between two-thirds and four-fifths the length of the body are the organs that make the electricity happen. But the way this works, basically, is this. So these organs line up along the body, along that four-fifths, and they create a potential difference by stacking ions at one end. So when the eel spots its prey, the eel's brain sends a signal through the nervous system to these electric organs saying basically open the floodgates. You open the floodgates and you get a flood of water, right? Well, the way this works is very very similar. It opens up the ion channels and you get a flow of sodium, a sudden rush of sodium creating a potential difference. And the effect that this has is that the electric eel can generate up to about 600 volts at about 1 ampere of current which can be deadly to an adult human, so imagine what it's about to do to this fish. Okay, I'll put the sound back on for the video. Listen to see if you can hear for the crack when the eel attacks its prey. <laughs> Okay, so telling you to listen for the crack might not have been necessary. It was pretty loud. What you saw at the top there, along the top bar, was a effectively a voltmeter. At the far left, that would have been... Oh no, this is the right way. This is the left screen. From the far left, it started at zero. It went all the way up to 600 at the top. On the far left of the tank, there's this little... No, left side of the screen. There's a little rod hanging down into the water. That is your voltmeter. So yeah, 600 volts, that would really hurt. I'll slow the video down for you now, and you can see if you can actually see the eel eating the fish, since it happens in a split second. I haven't seen the slowed down version yet, so this will be an experience for us both. So I've slowed this down to about three times what it would actually take. Let's see if we can actually see it happening. Nope, I didn't catch that one again. So I've slowed this down even further to a frame by frame for you to see here. How impressive is that? Even slowed down to that frame by frame, I could barely see what's going on. The fish comes in front of the thing's mouth, and it manages to shock it and eat it. Apparently at the same time. Which, props to the eel, I don't think I could eat anything with 600 volts going through it, so... Respect. Credit where credit's due. Alright, well I hope you liked the video. Click subscribe, and I'll see if I can get something similar up sometime soon, click like, send it to your friends, send it to your mother, send it to the Pope, whoever you like. Comments down below, and I will see you all soon. Cheers.